Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. We're walking into uh, 1570 Oak, number 314. This is a big studio and we walk right into the living room. Again, this room is about 15 by 14, maybe just a few inches less on the 14, a few inches more on the 15. If we go a little to our right, we see a huge walk-in closet and the beginnings of the bathroom. To the left, we have a step up and a, uh, a tile floor for the dining area and sort of a tricked out kitchen. This is a unique apartment in the building in that one of our maintenance guys lived here probably 10 or more years ago. Um, so it's a little bit different. The kitchen's a little nicer. The bath is a little nicer. The carpet is brand new. The windows are facing north, and you can see out the window we have another building, so we don't get quite as much light in this unit as maybe we would in a higher floor. But it's not bad light. Whoops, I think it turned around too fast. Let's see if I can get this back in focus. And there you see the front door, and there is the uh, walk-in closet or part of it. And here is that tricked out dining area that I was talking about. Again, it's built up about uh, eight inches, has tile floor, has a tile wall or base, maybe a wall up to, I don't know, three and a half feet, four feet, three and a half feet. And then you see it's a little bit decorative with a ceiling fan. Again, the window is facing north. This area would be a little bit bigger than 10 by eight because there would have been cabinets in the corner there that have been pulled out. Um, we have an AT&T connection if you wanted to go AT&T for your internet. We also have an outlet and a phone jack. If I stand here, give you a look at the kitchen. What is unique about this kitchen is you have a full-size stove and a bigger fridge than is in a lot of the units. Good cabinet space over the stainless steel sink and more storage underneath the stainless steel sink. Stainless steel sink also has a, a hose attachment for dishes. You can see it's in really good shape. Turn on the hot water. This building has very good water pressure, so there's nothing to worry about there. Um, underneath, you can see, can you see, it's dry and can be used for storage. This off, it's draining out very nicely. The cabinets, let's see what we have here, are your standard maple cabinets. This is about two feet high. The shelves are about 10 inches deep. You've got them on both sides, and then a half shelf on either side of that. And the countertops are a laminate rather than a rock but they are very clean. The tile is very clean and there is an outlet. The fridge and the stove are brand new. So it's not really a huge fridge, but it's bigger than some of the other fridges in the, uh, in the building. So you have shelves to the right, and this is the freezer on top. So you have a top and bottom to the freezer. And underneath, you have shelves, crisper drawers, and some more shelves on the right. The stove is a nice stove and is a full-size stove. Most of these built, the apartments in this building have a uh, sort of an apartment-sized stove, a little bit smaller. And you can see this has never been used. This is just awesome, totally squeaky clean. So that's nice. As I go back towards the dining area, you get to see the full size of it. Oops, I lost a little focus there. And again, there is a ceiling fan, but that's a big dining area. Uh, like I say, it's probably a little more than 10 by eight, maybe more like 12 by eight. And you see the hardware in the uh, left corner there. As I go back into the living room, we get a look at that. And there's the front door. I show you the floor because that's a little easier to judge space that way. 
It's not really that interesting, but it is a little easier to judge space. So let's take a look at this closet. This straight, see how the, whoops, the shape of the closet? The uh, portion that's straight in front of me is probably about four feet long and probably five to six feet deep. Then you have another portion that is not quite four, probably, I'm going to call it three feet long and probably three feet deep. And there you have more shelves and another hanging bar. You have a couple of hooks. Sh oops, a daisy. Shelves and a hanging bar straight in front as well. So that is a very big closet. The bathroom's a little bit tricked out too. So we have the, uh, uh, the oh, what am I, ceramic tiles, uh, standard toilet, pedestal sink. The tub has been reglazed, so that's really nice. And then you have the ceramic tiles, whoops, around the shower area as well. You also have a couple of shelves over the radiator and some woodwork. Instead of the standard would be the original tiles throughout. Here he replaced that with some woodwork. So it's a little better looking bath. I'm going to turn on the hot water. Now this again is a lower shower head. So either you have to be comfortable with that or maybe we can get to a, a, an attachment. But you can see the steam coming off and it's very good water pressure. So I'm going to kill that. <laughs> there is the pedestal sink and that works beautifully. Again, very good water pressure. And straight in front of us, whoops, we have a medicine cabinet. With the light fixture above. I'm not going to turn that on because that's a very bright. And there's the toilet. Another look at the walk-in closet, which is a big closet. And we come back out into the living room. I'll give you another pan of the living room into the dining area. I'll walk back towards the windows and you see that huge radiator right there. Now again, not much view, but I think the apartment is kind of cool. And that brings us back to the front door. Thank you for watching.